there's a boy. Come on. Say hello. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. It has been a long time since I have been out here. I just I haven't shot any videos, but uh, I have been either traveling for work or sick from the traveling from work, and you might be able to hear it. I still am a little bit trying to shake a cold for the better part of a month now. In that four weeks, uh, I had I reached a milestone on this channel. Um, I've had a couple of milestones. Uh, one of them was when I got my first troll, which I thought was entertaining. Uh, and uh, then I reached 3,000 subscribers. So, kind of cool. Thank you for subscribing if you have. If you haven't, well, feel free. Uh, these videos are going to change a little bit. Um, we're going to be doing some more and different things. And uh, the CNC machine that I've built is up and running. So, with the exception of the video I'm shooting now, which is a modification to how I'm doing the spindle cooling, the construction of that machine is pretty much done. Um, I'll entertain the idea of some requested videos if there's something that you folks want me to do some detail on, but otherwise I'm kind of winding down in that area. But what I am going to be changing to is I'm going to be shooting some of the videos of what I'm making on it. Um, right now I've got uh, three projects I know I'm going to be doing right now. One is for myself. It's a replacement to a small section of countertop in my RV. I'm going to do that at a Corian. I'm also doing a uh, custom sign for a uh, an office building uh, it's an interior sign and then I'm also doing a uh, I'm doing components for a sign uh, that's gonna go on a beach house on the East Coast and uh, that one was been kinda interesting because I'm having to teach myself the process of going from an artistic rendering um, through all of the different types of software till I've got a scalable vector graphic that I can work with in Fusion 360 and I can't say I've made any progress on the CNC plasma cutter yet. Um, I cut the one test component and that was about where it stopped. Um, don't know, honestly, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get back to that. It's springtime out, which means it's time to do a lot of lawn mowing. And that takes up, you know, a good chunk of, especially this time of year, uh, a good chunk of a day each weekend. Uh, between mowing the yard and keeping the fence rows knocked down and things of that nature. So, you know, times change. That's why most of my time in the shop is in the wintertime. I'm also going to be uh, doing some work on this building itself. Um, the building goes another 30 feet beyond that wall behind me, and my machine shop is through that door there. Well, the rest of that room is an unconditioned space, and that's going to be changing. I have a company coming out on Wednesday. They're going to be uh, giving me a bid to spray foam it. So I will be able to at least take the chill off that space um, and the solar gain in that room will drop way off in the summer, which will be very helpful. In addition, while I'm doing that, which requires me taking everything out of that section of building, um, that's the point at which I'm going to expand the machine shop and I'm looking very seriously at putting the Tormach in at this stage. Probably a little earlier than I had planned. This will be the opportune time to get it put in and then the machine shop room over here will get expanded around it. So it'll be in the same room where my mill and my lathe and grinder are right now. Speaking of which, I have to finish the phase converter. I've got the components to build that. Uh, I got to get that done because I can't run the shear that I bought and I can't run the uh, the lathe since I sold my old one. This one requires a rotary phase converter. So I have all the pieces. Uh, hopefully I'll get to that more sooner than later. I will tell you I'm going to be at uh, John Saunders Open House, uh, NYC CNC's Open House. I will be buying some raffle tickets for the uh, rotary phase converter that they're giving away there. So I'll hope. Anyways, uh, we're going to be doing some car work later this summer. Um, I have a friend of mine who's relocating from the Arizona area. Uh, he's a hot rod guy, knows way more about cars than I do because I'm just learning. And uh, we're going to do a little bit more work on the 67. Uh, and then we're going to start taking a serious look at the El Camino, whether it is we build the one I've got now or whether I set that one aside and buy another one. In addition, uh, we're going to be doing some upgrades to a stock 2017 Chevy. I got a, uh, a new daily driver 
Um, had to let mom's car go and replaced it with a four-door half-ton uh, baby truck. I still have my dually, so when I need a real truck, I'm, I'm set. So anyways, that's what's been going on. I'm going to get back over here and finish this spindle cooling modification, finish shooting that video. Hopefully it works out. I'll get that edited and put on, on YouTube as soon as possible. But I just wanted to say, hey, thanks for joining me in the shop. I'm still around. I apologize for the delay. And uh, to the 3,000 plus subscribers, thanks. Appreciate you having you here. Come back and join us again. Take it easy, everybody. See ya.